Welcome to the Great Ocean Road. So come and join me on a virtual tour of the Great Ocean Road, Victoria's greatest tourist attraction and the world's longest and largest war memorial. The Great Ocean Road was built after the First World War as a citizen-generated project to employ ex-servicemen who'd returned from the war and as a memorial to their lost fellows. We're going to look at iconic white sandy beaches, soaring cliff tops, rock formations, waterfalls, lighthouses, forest, and 243 kilometres or 150 miles of winding road. Well, the Great Ocean Road is really home for me. I live about 20 minutes from Torquay, the town at the eastern end of the Great Ocean Road, and I've been travelling down it since I was a child, first on holidays and day trips with my parents, and then as soon as I got my first car, it was really one of the first things that I did is a trip down the Great Ocean Road. It's a very Melbourne thing to do, but it's also become a very popular thing to do for interstate and international tourists. There are so many things to see and do along the Great Ocean Road and in the hinterland in the Otway Ranges that I'm going to have to pick and choose some of my favourite places to show you, but there'll be no shortage of those. So let's have a look at a map of southwestern Victoria. You can see Melbourne with its suburbs wrapping around Port Phillip Bay and the city of Geelong, the second biggest city in the state of Victoria, and the small town of Torquay, just south of Geelong. And that's the start of the Great Ocean Road. The road winds its way along the coast down to Cape Otway, and then inland to Lavers Hill, and then back out to the coast at Princetown, where it goes past the Port Campbell National Park to Peterborough, and then cuts inland again and terminates at Allensford on the Prince's Highway, just east of Warrnambool the other large town on the coast. In addition to that, though, there are plenty of locations through the forest and the mountains here that are worth shooting as well. So I'll be showing you some of those. And this little offshoot down here to Cape Otway to look at the famous lighthouse. And in this view of the map, you can see the icons representing the various locations and the subjects that are available to shoot at each of those places. There's a large number of these possibilities, and I'm not going to guarantee getting to all of them, but I'll try, and it's probably going to take me 9 to 12 months to do that. But I've chosen them because of the variety of different sorts of landscapes that you can shoot, and because there are some really famous locations along there that are worth shooting. And there's a few little hidden gems as well. So I'll provide a link to this map from my website and from each video as I shoot them. And as I go, I'll change the icons from blue to red, and that will indicate that those locations have got photographs and videos linked to them, and you can investigate them that way. So if you've got any ideas or comments, please leave them below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. If you've got any locations in addition to the ones that I've got on the map here that you think you'd like to have a look at, then please let me know. I can't guarantee getting to them, but you never know. This is going to be a long, ongoing project. But most importantly, remember, pixels are free, so get out there and shoot more. And if you can, get out to the Great Ocean Road and have a look. Bye for now.